Hey guys, Banana Lot here, and welcome back to another Water of Realms video. So, if you guys caught my previous videos, you will have known that we scored the Cerberus artifact, which uh, I consider myself very lucky to have received. So, uh, today we're going to compare artifacts, uh, mainly this one. So, artifacts, uh, Cerberus exclusive artifact. We're going to compare it to the Flux Pendant. Uh, which is another commonly used one for Cerberus. Eye of Sin as well. We're not going to compare Lunacy Visor because this does something entirely. It sustains Cerberus instead of letting him die early. But today we just want to maximize like in terms of damage wise what's the best one. And then we also have a uh, Eye of Sin that's like level 5. Yep. So we're going to see how it fares uh, compared to the, you know, uh, other uh, artifacts that we have in mind today. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to test this on uh, Gear Rate 21. It's too high of a level, and then Cerberus out doesn't uh, activate immediately. So it takes like uh, a certain amount of reach before you get that. So the only way that I could really test this out objectively without power or dominance was to actually use it on stage 18. So uh, you can see how our dominance is off. Uh, we're gonna do the test uh, staggering upwards. Uh, we're gonna do it with a flux pendant first, eye of scene, and then an almost maxed up one, and then the uh, unending relic, which is his exclusive. So uh, test is gonna be very simple. We're gonna use Cerberus to wipe out the last waves. And we're gonna see how much damage he actually does. So, as Vienna and Hollow, we're gonna use her to play out the earlier waves so that Cerberus can take out the last waves. Because I find that Cerberus may not respawn in time if we do it at the other way around. We actually spawn Cerberus here at the start. So, why not just use Vienna to settle that? So, yeah. She's gonna clear out the second wave as well, and then after that, uh, we're gonna do the same and you know, tuck Cerberus down uh, at a certain timing, which we're gonna keep similar across the board. So, wait for the mobs to come in, pop this out, and then we're gonna despawn Vienna. So, I'm gonna keep things consistent. Uh, we're gonna do it all at the same timing. Uh, gonna take some of the ultimate cues from the boss to do so. Also, when the wall breaks, that's when we'll activate spells. And I'll make sure that we get Invigoration buff on Cerberus uh, throughout all the tests. And then uh, for Eye of Scene, there'll be some interesting variations that we need to take note of as well. Yep, so. When this ultimate is casted, we're gonna slap everything down. Make sure he has an invigoration buff. Slap Laurel, despawn. And then I'm oh, gonna wait a bit here. So now that everything is done, uh, I can pop this. So, uh, yep, you can see damage wise is 336k a pop. So that's the maximum that Cerberus does. And do take note that uh, the way that Cerberus does his damage is that um, when he dies, the amount of damage that he's doing at that point, that's what's recorded. So as long as you have Dolores buff on and his ultimate on when he dies, he does maximum damage. So that's 336,000. That's at max. What have I not seen? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna quit this. I wanna save the stamina. I don't wanna waste it on the gear aided. And then uh, now we're gonna switch over. So I do know my Flux Pendant is level 2, but I don't want to buy another one from the guild shop, so this will have to do. So now we're gonna try Eye of Sin instead. Uh, and we're gonna do the exact same test, exact same run. And we're gonna see what Eye of Sin does. Uh, so one thing we have to take note is that for Eye of Sin, uh, you do actually get a damage bonus uh, when you kill a unit. So it's important that we make sure that Cerberus kills a unit before he dies, so he has that buff on. If not, the damage is going to be very different in terms of numbers. Pop the outs, and uh, you're going to see that Eye of Sin buff, that's important. So that means that we've killed a unit, and we'll get maximum damage when he dies. 
can see maximum damage coming out from a level 1 Eye of Sin is 323k. Actually way lower than the flux pack damage we just tested. Arguably that's level 2, so you know, could be wrong with the testing because both are not level 1. But we roughly get a sense of what things are like. So that's the last one. Uh, and just to recap again. Cerberus ultimate does AoE damage, the one where he dies, sorry not his ultimate. This is where the big damage is. So this goes in line with Eye of Sin, this does AoE damage. So 10% and then 5% that lasts 3 seconds when he kills a unit. So as long as he, as he dies within that uh, 3 seconds where he kills a unit, uh, he's gonna, you know, really get that far. So now we're gonna replace with a level 5 Eye of Sin and I'm gonna redo the run again. So pop everything and you can see the buff coming out and that's a whopping 388k. Very big difference. So that's Eye of Sin level 2. Uh, you can see. I'm not gonna check damage charts because uh, that doesn't really matter. Because yeah, the damage is gonna stay the same. You kill the same folks. So 388 uh, level 5 artifact making a whole big deal of difference but now we're gonna test the last one unending relic is Cerberus own explosive. That's when we pop this ultimate and everything else. And you're gonna see this poison thing. Uh, it's important to take note of this and also the damage numbers uh, but basically what this poison does is that uh, the same as Kilk and you know any other units that does poison. It deals damage equal to 1% of the target's max HP and it sucks up to 3 times. And more on this later, I'm just mentioning this so that you guys will remember it. But damage wise you're gonna see 327k. So that's fairly similar to um, what uh, the level 1 Eye of Sin was doing. And uh, this artifact is level 1 at the same time now. So it makes quite a bit of sense if you think about it because uh, if you go in, you take a look at the artifacts, you're gonna see that uh, this increases damage by 0.2% every time HP drops by 1%. So you multiply that by 100% because Cerberus is gonna die, that's gonna be 20%. So it's fairly close to uh, level 1 Eye of Sin which grants, um, you know, 15% AoE damage. So damage wise they are both in quite a similar territory. But remember what I said about the poison. Remember that bit right? So Order of Decay can inflict poison on targets lasting for 5 seconds. So assuming that they all get inflicted with just 3 stacks of poison. That's going to last for 15 seconds or rather cumulatively. That's going to be 15% damage because 1% poison is Poison is 1% damage per sec. So that's just 15% extra damage assuming that you know they only take like 3 ticks of the poison. So in this next segment we're just gonna do some testing to see uh, because in gear rate 121 I feel that the mobs defenses are a lot higher uh, so I wanted to test it out between uh, the exclusive artifact versus Eye of Sin at level 5. Does it actually make any difference? Uh, by no means we're saying which does more damage, it's just more of uh, between these two artifacts do we see a big difference such that, you know, Eye of Sin does way better for instance. So of course uh, the caveat here is that I'm running power of dominance and the reason why is that I can't seem to run Cerberus in this lineup and still manage to get his ultimate off because he always dies before, you know, I get there because of how strong the mobs are without power of dominance. In fact, I didn't even clear 121 with Cerberus, he was out of the picture. So this is more to just see whether between these two artifacts, whether there's a big difference. So yeah, and yeah, to, to conclude uh, between those two uh, artifacts, right? Uh, I think it's fairly obvious that I have seen damage tick wise, we are seeing slightly better damage. Whereas on the exclusive artifact, uh, we are seeing a low damage take, but the poison could play a big part that, you know, is not showing. So I think if you see in a second here, I'm going to just uh, flash the damage that
comes from each of the artifacts and you can see that uh, Eye of Sin did the best. Obviously that's the level 1 versus the level 5 and if you just look at the other artifacts as well you can see that damage is fairly equal but once again we are not accounting for the poison that's taking which I think plays quite a big role especially in more end game content like 121. 1% 1 max HP per second is, you know, nothing to shy away from. And then in the next segment, you're going to see the damage charts from uh, our last test. So this was between Gear 121 uh, with the level 5 Eye of Sin and the level 1 exclusive artifact. So damage tick wise, I recorded this on the AoE monsters, the one that uh, had the uh, area effect damage around them. So that way, I knew that the damage that we're comparing is equal. So 360 versus 320,000. But also bear in mind that when we looked at the final damage chart, Cerberus did like 83 million. And in the other chart with Eye of Sin, that was about 81 million. But I do want to point out the fact that these damage charts vary quite a bit. My test here is more to show that, you know, between these two artifacts, this level 10, oh sorry, this level 1 explosive artifact is actually quite on par. So you could jolly well just uh, and wind up using Eye of Sin on another unit instead and keep, you know, this explosive artifact on Cerberus instead. So with that in mind, my recommendation is obviously to go with the exclusive artifact and use Eye of Sin on someone else because damage wise they seem fairly equal. So with that in mind, I've come to the end of the video. Feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel if you found this useful and comment down if you have any questions below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.